Okay, so after you've watched the daily agenda video, you'll be moving on to the uh, getting your first look and information about the exhibit project. So we're doing a virtual museum, Civil War, based on the Civil War, and uh, each of you is going to create your own exhibit um, about one event, battle, person, aspect of the Civil War. And then we're going to put it all together. I'm either going to create a website or I'll, I'll figure out a good way that we can we can do this. Um, then you'll be able to go in and look at each other's exhibits and, and explore like, like you would in a museum. Um, a lot of museums around the country and around the world are offering virtual tours and things like that throughout this um, throughout this crisis. And, and I thought it might be a good idea if we made our own based on what you guys uh, research and learn about um, the Civil War. So um, I'm going to take you through the project description. Uh, I won't read it word for word, but um, you guys should. Um, I'll just try to explain it in case it has uh, any unclear points for any of you. Again, always come to office hours um, if you have questions about it. You can send me an email too, but it might just be easier for me to explain it. Um, over, over talking about it rather than in an email because if you can't understand the writing of it here maybe an email won't be so clear either but anyway I'll take you through the project description you can go through the the rubric itself that's pretty simple it's just like a checklist um, of what you need to have done for it to get the full grade 50 point grade and then the uh, topics there's a list of topics here um, that you will sign up that you will choose one for and sign up for we're going to do that Friday I'll explain that in directions here so Opening this page up, um, it's two pages long, like I said, so read through the whole thing. Um, I'm going to take you through just the main points. Um, essentially, you're creating, again, your own exhibit about a certain Civil War topic. Each of you will have a different topic, um, and that way we'll all get to learn about these things. Um, but you have two tasks within this project. One, and this will be a shorter one, but it's going to be due first, is your exhibit proposal. You need to get your proposal, your idea about what you make your exhibit about and how you're going to make it approved by me. So uh, it needs to be a competent proposal. It's got to be something that's, um, I believe you can do. You have to explain how you're going to make it. Um, and then you're going to uh, get permission and, and then get to work on it. So that's going to be due uh, on Monday of next week or at the end of the class you'll have Monday to, to make that proposal. Um, but essentially you have four options and I'll take you through each of these for the project. Um, it's going to be something like you would see in your museum. That's the goal to make it as re museum realistic as possible. I know that's going to be hard um, and it's not going to be perfect but uh, we're trying to just try to make a, a, a the best we can um, a something that would may be seen in the museum. Um, so a piece of art is the first option, um, a painting, a detailed drawing, uh, a little statue or sculpture that you could make out of uh, clay or paper mache if you have the materials to do it. Um, so again, this is going to be based off what you have at home or what you can get to to make this um, project and that's going to kind of determine what option you, you choose but also hopefully for a lot of you guys you can choose an option that interests you the most. The piece of art, um, you see art in museums all the time, um, especially history museums, natural history museums. Um, but make sure if you do choose this one that you are an artist or have some artistic interest or abilities. Um, if it's not your strong suit, don't do it. Um, I would not pick this one because I don't have any art, artistic talent. But uh, if you're doing this, again, just let me know what your plan is in the proposal. Um, if you say I'm going to paint a picture and then you give me stick figures, I'm not going to accept that. So don't uh, do not do it if you don't uh, have a clear idea of what you want to do with that and don't have the ability or the materials to do it. Second one is like a creating a diorama for, for your um, Civil War event. Uh, if you're doing a battle and you have... Um, materials it would be a good one to do it for, but you could do it for any of the other topics as well, um, as long as you have a good idea submitted in your proposal. Uh, so a diorama is a like a model just featuring and representing a scene. You see these all the time in museums. Um, and you could do this using household materials. Uh, if you have old toys, you could 
put them in a diorama. Um, Legos would be great for it. And that's easy enough if you have any of those. Um, or just general, any arts and craft materials that you have at home. Again, this may be limited depending on what you have at home. Um, but if you want to choose this option, I think it would be a good and interesting one to do. Third option is to make like a Civil War relic or an artifact. Um, and it could be a little tricky. It's kind of like making a piece of art. Again, you'll have to have the arts and craft materials at home to be able to make something like this. Um, and it's got to be something that can really represent what you're trying to, to show in your, in your, for your topic. So it's going to have to be a good proposal. Um, I think this would be an interesting one to do, but it might be a little harder too. So, um, if you do want to do it, make sure you have a good proposal for it. The last option is, is one that anyone can do. Um, you can do it all on your iPad and that's like making an informational video. You go to museums, um, usually there's, uh, TV screens or, in, or video rooms where you can sit down and, or, and watch a little bit about a certain part of that exhibit. So this will be one of those options. Um, so it can be a documentary style video where you are narrating um, the events of your topic um, using pictures or, or video clips if you can find them. Um, put together in, in iMovie or another video editing app that you may have. Um, and then you need to add a voiceover narration where you are talking and explaining the, the events of your topic while the video plays. Um, second option with the video is doing like a reenactment, which could be trickier, uh, but certainly I think a little more rewarding, fun. Um, without access to any of the costumes or stuff we have at school it's it's not going to be hard to be accurate but if you try to be accurate you'll you'll get um rewarded for that effort with um just clothing and, and setting and dialogue you don't want to have uh, a car in the middle of your civil war scene that would not make any sense but whatever you could do um to to make it as accurate as possible be interesting and reward so that video um the length of that should be between three and five minutes. Um, try to not make it longer. Definitely do not make it shorter just so we can, uh, so people who are viewing the video in the museum have time to view the other exhibits as well. You have those four options. Um, so you're going to be thinking about that. You can st start thinking about which one you would like to do today as you start to look at the topics and choose that. Um, but you'll be choosing one of those options and then submitting a proposal uh, on Monday for what you would like to do. You'll pick your topics on Friday, but you'll choose which option you want to do and try to convince me that you can do that on Monday. The second task is actually just making the exhibit. Um, so once you get your topic, your topic cho cho chosen and the um, option approved, you will make this exhibit. That's, that's part one of task two, just making the exhibit following those directions above. Uh, parts two and three go together. You are, are going to provide the information behind your uh, topic as well. The way you'll do that is by writing a one-page document, which is going to serve like a plaque that you would find in a museum, explaining and giving the key information about your exhibit and how it's important and why your exhibit is a good representation of the topic. Um, in addition to just writing it out, I want you to do a, a recording of, of your plaque and um, that you will use and, and send to me and then we can have people listen to you explaining it as well as just reading it. The best museums all do this. They all have an audio um, guide. Um, if you go to museums or you go to um, historic sites, you, you'll often see people walking around with headphones listening to these things. So uh, I want you guys to record this. The idea is that if you do a 250 and 400 words in length in between that, then the recording should last about one to three minutes in length. Um, just note if you did do option four and you did do a video um, with a narration, then parts two and three are already considered completed because your voiceover there will, will count as the guided self-audio tour and the, the written thing. Okay, so the big thing is have fun with this project. Uh, make sure that you choose something that you like and do it the option that that best suits you um, but uh, do make it as historically accurate as possible and we'll try to as a class put together the best museum as we can uh, you'll have four days in class to work on this um, starting next week 
a little time today and tomorrow to start to think about it and choose. But uh, here's our general schedule uh, on Friday. And I know it's a pause day, but all you're doing is sending me an email saying what your top choice is. I have a uh, sign-up sheet exhibit I'm going to share with all of you guys. Let me drag this over so you can see it. Um, with all the topic lists, or the list of all the topic choices, and as you send me emails, I'm going to fill in your name. So if, if Joe Smith of Period 2 chooses the Lincoln-Douglas debates, you'll see that that is taken. You'll be able to check this and say, okay, what's left? Okay, well, Lincoln-Douglas debates was also my first choice. Well, now I'm going to choose... Um, Chancellorsville, the Battle of Chancellorsville, because that's still there. I will update it as quickly as possible. I'll be at my computer on Friday doing that. Um, so if you don't sign up Friday, then you'll not maybe get your first choice, but um, be there and try to try to uh, do that. I won't start those. I won't start accepting submissions till 11 a.m. because I know not everybody is awake and active there, but when 11 hits, if you have a choice that you really want to get, um, send me an email. Again, it's like with the uh, Manifest Destiny topic, it's a good idea to have a list of choices that you that you might be interested in just in case your first couple choices are taken by that. Only one person per class for, for each of these. Um, so that way each class has a, has a full museum. Um, so again, first come, first serve. Definitely have this done before Monday so you can start researching um, your topic and learning a little bit more about that. On Mondays, in Monday's folder, I'll have some links and stuff that will be useful for you guys as you research, but um, it'll be a lot of freehand research just using the internet to, to learn about your topic so that you can write a uh, task, um, one exhibit proposal, and help you choose which type of exhibit you want to do, but also help you write the, the plaque and the audio guide later on, too. Next Thursday... And then Monday and Thursday of the following week are all work days. You won't have any other assignments from me. Um, I'll just say upload a daily video saying hi and, and giving you some tips. But uh, there will be 45 minutes each day for you to work on this project. You can also work on weekends or pause days or nights and spend however much time you want to do on, on crafting your exhibit. Um, but you have those three class days to to just do nothing but create your exhibit um, and if you want to skip those days and focus on your other classes during that time and then spend three hours on a Sunday creating that project go right ahead that's acceptable as long as you have the project done by the due date of Tuesday May 26th um, by midnight so that way I can put it together over the next couple days all together in one website or or place where we can have our museum. So try to get that done. If it's not in by then, um, then I might not be able to get it in the museum. So try to have it done on time. Use the time that we are going to provide you in class. All right. So this video is long, but uh, read through the directions and ask me get questions in office hours if you have them. Um, don't want this to be overwhelming. Remember, you're just doing one of these options. So once you pick one, big part of this direction just gets thrown out the window. Um, make sure you do do the requirements for task two. Again, two and three are really the same, so it's not any extra work doing the other. I'm um, doing both of them. So have a great day. Watch the video on September 17th and the Battle of Antietam today. Nothing else due today. Um, take some time to look at the topics and try to decide which one you want to do.